Hi kids! So our new lesson for today is all about the changes in the properties of the materials when exposed to different temperatures. So we will look for the meaning of the following words in the dictionary. First word. So what is the meaning of temperature? So temperature is a degree of hotness or coldness that can be measured using a thermometer. So ito daw po yung degree kung mainit or malamig ang isang bagay. Para malaman natin ang temperature ng isang bagay, we can use thermometer. So second one, what is the meaning of cooling? Cooling is having the effect of making something less warm or hot. So, yung cooling naman po, ito po yung um, effect na sa isang bagay kapag uh, natanggal yung init sa kanya. Okay? Or palalamigin natin in short. What is the meaning of heating? Heating is making or becoming hot or warm. Ito naman sa Tagalog naman, isang bagay naman daw ay gagawing mainit. So what happened to the materials when heated? So the material change its form from solid to liquid because it melts and absorb heat. So, meaning, kapag yung uh, uh, solid material natin, kapag underheated siya, magiging liquid siya or matutu now. Kasi nga, nag-absorb siya, nag siya ng init. So, ayun yung, kapag nag-absorb ng init yung isang solid material natin, possible na mag-melt siya. Okay? Is there a changes in the appearance of the material when heated? Yes, of course. So, mag, magkakaroon siya ng um, changes in their physical appearance. Kaya syempre, kanina nga, nag solid siya. So, naging liquid. So, nag-iba yung kanyang itsura. Naging liquid. So, how could we describe the changes happen to the material when heated? So, again, so the, the materials change its form from solid to liquid when we heat. It also changed its size, shape, and texture. So, tatlo po ang nagbabago. Uh, I mean, four. Kasi kanina, uh, una ay size, pangalawa, shape, texture, and even its form may change it when we heat the solid materials, when it is underheated. Tatandaan po ah. When the solid material heat uh, underheated, uh, it may change their size, shape, texture, and even its form. Kasi from solid to liquid, ano, ayun po yung tinutukoy na form. What about what happened to the materials when it is cooled? So, but the material may change its form. From liquid to solid. O so, nagbago naman. Naging baliktad. Kaya siya naging solid. Kasi nga, uh, na-release niya yung heat. Nawala yung heat. Kaya naging solid ang isang material. Pag lumamig na, nagiging solid na siya. Natatanggal na yung init. Naintindihan po ah. So, is there a changes in the appearance of the material when it is cold? So, may pagbabago daw ba yung itsura ng... Um, Material kapag lumamig? Yes, of course. Kasi kanina, di ba, liquid siya. So, ngayon, nagiging solid siya kasi nga nawala yung init niya. So, may, nag may pagbabago sa kanyang itsura. So, how could we describe the changes happen to the material when it is cooled? So, again, the materials change its form from liquid to solid when cooled. So, it also changed their size, 
shape, and texture. So, pareho lang pala yung nagbabago sa kanila. Parehong size, parehong shape, parehong texture, and even its form. So, let's have an experiment. Let us hit the materials below and describe their changes when they are heated. The first one is crayon. What happens to crayon when we heat it? When the crayon was heated, it changed its size, shape, and texture. It also changed its form. When heated, the solid form of the crayon was changed to liquid. Second one, what happened to the candle? When the candle was heated, it changed its size, shape, and texture. It also changed its form. When heated, the solid form of the candle was changed to liquid. How about the butter? When the butter was heated, it changed its size, shape, and even their texture. It also changed its form. When heated, the solid form of the butter was changed to liquid. After heating the materials below, let us cool them down and describe their changes when they are cooled. The first one is crayon. The liquid form of crayon changed back to solid and it also changed its size, shape, and texture. The second one is candle. So the liquid form of the candle changed back to solid. It also changed its size, shape, and texture. The last one is butter. The liquid form of butter changed back to solid. It also changed its size, shape, and even its texture. So, thank you for listening. So, ayun lang po ang ating lesson for this day.